is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Today's video is going to be a palette update. If you are new and you don't know what that is, on my channel, I do this thing where I take palettes that I've had for a while. Sometimes I've only had them for a month or two. But some palettes I've had for a while, um, and I talk about them and my thoughts and opinions on whether or not it was worth the money, how good the pigmentation payoff is. Sorry, my phone keeps vibrating. Um, and whatnot. Today's uh, palette is going to be a palette from Morphe. If you can hear that sound, maybe you recognize it. It is not the James Shaw palette. I did that one already. Um, so, enough talking. Let's get into it. Sorry for the noise outside, there are children outside currently and I'm trying to figure out why they're not in school. But, um, maybe they don't make it, I don't know. Anyway, um, it's this palette. The Morphe Times Jacqueline Hill palette. Now, I am not gonna lie, when this palette first came out, I was so excited. I was so gung ho to buy it, I'm like, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. But being in Korea, you know, time differences, it went on sale. I mean, I don't sell, but like they, they released it. I was asleep when they released it, and then it got sold out. And then they released it again, and it got sold out. So then I finally got my hands on it, and I was excited. I was excited. I was like, oh boy, I got it. Oh boy, I'm gonna use it. And for the first like two months, like I had it, I was all about this palette. Well, not all, not all about it. Okay, let's not lie. I use this palette often. Um, some of the shades that I use. Okay, this is the original one. This is not the one with the updated and the names and all that crap. Nah, nah, nah. Um, which I lost a little postcard thing like a week after having this or two weeks after having it. Um, when I first got this palette, I fell in love with these two shades here on the bottom row and then these two shades at the top row. And one of them is called Sissy. Um, but other than that, I was a little disappointed because in the picture, a lot of these shades look brighter than they are. So I was expecting this to be like a super great red shade but it's not it's like a brick red almost it reminds me of that um i, I use this um analogy a lot the clay the mud clay that's what that reminds me of but in the picture it didn't look like that but you know whatever it's fine um and like these first in the first two rows the first one two three four five six seven eight shades so these eight here look crazy on me except for this one this looks good in my inner corner but they look crazy on me because they're too light my lids looked really ashy like i tried to use this one to set my concealer once and it looked gross um not saying that they're bad too they just don't those eight shades i avoid because they don't work for me now when my nieces come over because some of them are lighter than me and i do their makeup or my sister because she's real light love her but she's super light when she comes over you know or when i go to her house I'll use that on her. I'll use those shades on her because she's lighter. They look better. Um, I have not, and this is going to be really sad, and you can probably tell, I have not touched so many of the shades in here. So, in the first row, I attempted all the shades. In the second row, I attempted all the shades except the last one, this one. I have not used that one. In the third row, I only touched this one and this one, myself. This one, my friend back in Korea, the last one, she liked to use that on her lower lash line because she's like, you put red on that thing, it's cute, she wanted to do it. Okay, cool. In the fourth row, I only touched the first two. I have not touched the rest of that row. I only touched this one and that one. Haven't laid a finger on any of those, and I know that's really sad, but I have those shades already. I have a lot of, a lot of the shades that are in here are similar to what I have from ColourPop, except for maybe these two greens at the bottom, not these two, but like these two greens. Everything else I found at ColourPop, like I really do have, they're the shade called, I don't know if it's Tiny Tangerines or Muscle Beach, but one of them looks like this one and the other looks like this one. And so when I got those, cause I got those after I bought this. So when I got those shades, I definitely forgot about this, but I did use, this one, I can't remember the name, I don't know if it's Pool Party or one of them's called J, one called Pool Party, I think, if something like that. I lost the postcard. Um, I used one of these in my Halloween, I did a Halloween look and I needed the shape, so I used it. But other than that, I'm really sad to say that I don't really grab for this palette anymore. It's rare that I myself grab for this palette. Now when my nieces come over, because they know who she is and everything, they know about Morphe, and oh, I wanna use it, I wanna use it. I gently slide it over to them, but um, me myself, 
I don't really grab for it anymore, especially now that I have like the James Charles and Morphe palette, um, the Makeup Shack palette. Um, a lot of like some of the shades that are in here. The Makeup Shack palette has similar shades, so I definitely use that more. About 80% of the shades that are in here I have from ColourPop. Um, and as far as the shimmers, the shimmers are cool and all, but Eddie Funkhauser shimmers work better for me. So I don't grab, like I used to use this, oh the shimmers. Now I don't touch this at all anymore because the shimmers from the Eddie Funkhauser palettes that I have are so much better and more pigmented. And then when you wet the brush it's just like, oh. But um, yeah, it's really sad because when I did, I'm not going to lie, when I first got this palette I'm like, oh my god, the Jack Lanier Lord palette, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then after about two months, it was like, mm, color pop first. And then if I can't use color pop, I'll use this. That's what it went. It went from, oh my god, oh my god, Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Hill, to if I don't have it in my color pop palettes, then I'll use the Jacqueline Hill palette. And that's really sad because it's rare that I do that with palettes. But I find that a lot of the Morphe palettes that I've had, even the James Charles palette, the pans are bigger in, those, in like the third row. That's true. But those outside rows... A lot of those shades are in the Makeup Shack palette that I have. Um, so it's like, or I have shades similar from ColourPop. Um, so it's just like, you know, like for some reason with Morphe, it's like I buy the palette and I'm excited about it. And then after a while, it's like, oh, ColourPop has it. Oh, ColourPop. Oh, Col I'm not going to lie. ColourPop has taken over my life. Um, I think that was their plan. They've succeeded. But... This palette, it was great when I first got it. I did. I was in love with it. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I wasn't in love with it. It was like a, I want to go on another date type thing. It was like a, we, we need a second and third date, but it wasn't love. Um, but then after, you know, ColourPop came out with all their summer stuff, and it just, this got forgotten about. And I'm so glad I'm back home, and my nieces are like, oh, I want to use it, because, you know, it wouldn't be used otherwise. It would have just been sitting there. And I know you're probably like, well, you could throw it out. First of all, the amount of money I paid for this palette, I'm not going to just throw it out. I'm going to let them have their fun. And then my youngest niece, she's like, I want to do makeup. But, you know, clearly she's only nine. So, um, won't be that great. But she's, this, she can gladly, girl, live your best life, um, basically. I might, um, uh, pop out these last two and put them in my, uh, palette that I got, my, um, little C palette that I got from Makeup Sh Makeup Geek, not Makeup Check, from Makeup Geek, I might pop those in there, but other than that, my niece Natasia can live her best life, um, it's so sad that I don't really use this anymore though, because I was so excited about it, a lot of people were excited about it, but, um, even the shades I have on now, this is from the Makeup Check, there's, like, you look at this and be like, oh, no, I didn't, I just came through the Makeup Check, um, sad, but, you know, it happens. Let me know in the comments if you have this palette or if you have this palette and how you felt about this palette. Because, you know, I did like it. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like this, though, because the color, like, the minute you touch it, like, okay, I don't even know why I'm doing this. Like, if you had this shade on your head after a swatch and you're like, so, yeah, you know, boom, 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 And maybe you can wash it off. Oh, no, I tried washing this off and, not, like, the back... I used the makeup wipe on the back, and you see it's still dirty, right? Yeah, so I'm just letting it, I'm letting it be what it's going to be, as my mom would say. And that's it. That's all for this video. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. The children outside are going absolutely bonkers, and I don't know why, but it's happening. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow for Face Show Friday. Bye.